Hey guys, it's Hazeltail, and today I'm going to be reviewing this e.l.f. palette called Get the Look Beach Beauty, and I'm also going to be showing you how to get this eye look, well actually this whole face. I picked this up at Target like a couple weeks ago. I had like a display out of different e.l.f. palettes that were in the Get the Look line, and I picked out Beach Beauty because it seemed to be the brightest one. And this is what it looks like. It also came with a sponge tip applicator and one end was like an angled brush, but I have that on my makeup desk. This palette has um, 16 eyeshadows, four cheek colors, and eight lip colors. And all of the eyeshadows are shimmery. All of them, every single one. Some have more shimmer than others, but all across the board, these are shimmer. So if you love your matte and can't live without it, this probably isn't a good palette for you. But the bronzer is matte, so you can actually use it for contouring. Well, one of them is matte, and then one is really like gold duochrome -y. It's not really showing up as much. The eyeshadows are nice. Like if you know um, e.l.f. eyeshadows, you probably know what I'm talking about, in that you don't need too much of them. But unfortunately, um, the lighter ones, especially on here, are like kind of sheer and they're also all really powdery eyeshadows like there's a lot of fallout I had to do like a lot of cleanup down here because I had green down my face but the darker ones are really pigmented and for the light ones I just used a white base and then they show up as intense as in the packaging and it has a row of like pinks and more bronzy kind of neutral colors and then greens and blues and I'll just swatch a couple for you guys um trying to think of ones I didn't use in my eyeshadow there's that yellow and there's the darkest pink it's really cool and that's the dark blue. It's amazing. And I'll do one more for you guys. Um, the light blue on top. Ta-da! That blue is actually really pigmented, more than the other light colors. And I'll just swatch them. There's a little bit of like color washout from my camera, but it's pretty accurate. So you can see like these two are kind of more sheer than these. So I use a white base under that. I think I already said that. But yeah, the shadows are really good. And I really like the cheek colors. They're really, really good. I'm thinking maybe this bright pink might be matte also. I can't really tell in the packaging. And then the peachy color actually looks matte in the package, but when you swatch it, it's got like glitter in it. And these are the cheek colors, the peach, the matte bronzer, the pink, and the sparkly bronzer. Well, it's not sparkly, it's got more of like shimmer through it. And I'll swatch these for you also. Elf blushes are just like fantastic as a whole. That pink didn't show up very well. There you go. But I've never had a problem with e.l.f. blushes and like bronzers because I have the contouring duo and that one's fantastic and these are like super pigmented and you only need like a tiny tiny bit. Like I contoured today with the um, bronzer and I only needed a tiny bit. Unfortunately, on pale people, that bronzer also has a tendency to look really orange. So that's another reason you don't want to use too much. Because otherwise, you might look like you just like used a bunch of orange eyeshadow on your face. And here's like some eyeshadow fallout that I was mentioning. They're all really powdery. I gotta be honest, I'm not impressed with the lip colors. I'm never impressed with lip colors like this. Because I always expect them to be like a full-on lipstick, and they never are. I think they're actually supposed to be more of glosses than anything else. 
But I don't know. I'm just not big on them. They don't really give a lot of color. Like, here's the red. The they just give you a little tint. I'm kind of really interested in these two dark colors right here. The dark red. Ooh, that's pretty. It's like a blood red. And this dark shade. Ooh, that one's gorgeous. So yeah, these come off a lot less pigmented than they appear to be. And I'm actually wearing the bright pink today on my lips. And I'll just swatch these three. I'm running out of space on my hand. Ooh. That one kind of isn't on the a good spot. But see, these two are more pigmented than the light one simply as the fact that they're dark and your natural lip color like will come through like that's mostly what you're seeing right here is my lip color and then just like a tiny bit of pink on it but I really really do like this palette I mean all you need with it is a base and that's like all your like color face products right here except like a highlight but I don't even really need a highlight when I use this this blush because it's got like shimmer in it and now I'm going to like talk you through how I did this makeup. First I applied my e.l.f. eyelid primer. It just like also helps with the eyeshadows with their longevity and stuff. And then I use my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and like smeared it out with my fingers. And I used that as my base. Then I took the spring green at the top of the green row and I used that on a big crease brush and blended that all in my crease area and part way up to my eyebrow. Then I went for kind of the forest green, which is the third green down, and I used that on a smaller brush and put it a bit more concentrated, like closer to my crease. I also took the spring green and the forest green down below my eyes as well. Then I used the deep true green, the second one down, and I used that to define my crease a little bit more, and I added just a tiny bit of that under my eyes by the outer corners. And then I mixed the top two colors on the left, and I patted that all over my eyelids. I also took my face powder and I used that to blend the top of the green away so it had a nice fade. Then I took my Revlon liquid liner in blackest black and just did a thin line on my upper lash line. And then I was going to use my Revlon twist up pencil liner for my waterline, but it ended up not being dark enough, so I went back in with the L'Oreal gel liner. And the mascara I'm using is the Ulta Voluptuous Volume Mascara. Then I just used my regular Ardell lashes in 120 Demi Black. And I applied those using my Duo Eyelash Adhesive.
Then I contoured using the matte bronzer along my cheekbones and temple and jawline. And then I took the peachy blush and just applied it kind of back by my hairline and blended it forward. And then I took the bright pink lip color and just smoothed it over my lips with my finger. That's all for this video. I really hope you liked it. And if you did, um, please leave a comment or thumb it up. And you can also leave any requests in the comments or private message me. And don't forget to check out my um, social media accounts. I have a Tumblr, which is hazeltail.tumblr.com, and then I have an Instagram, which is at hazeltailxo. I love you guys. Bye!